Hey all, I haven't made a video on this channel in over a month, so you're probably wondering where I've been. Well, I did get the job as resident assistant at the college I go to, and I've been training really extensively and dealing with things like Roman is flooded, hurricane, earthquake! For more of my dealings with natural disasters or any other things, check out my second channel. But anywho, I figured a lot of the people that watch my videos may be incoming freshmen to college this year, so I figured I would spread my knowledge to easy fixes to college woes. If you're not going to college soon, then I'd still listen up, because this stuff can come quite in handy down the road. Okay, so the first thing freshmen always seem to worry about is this. My roommate's gonna suck. Whoa well, there, Miss Pessimistic Pants. The majority of students get along with the roommates just fine. And if you do get stuck with someone that, say, happens to collect their own toenail clippings, you can always request a room change. No biggie. I'm gonna be forever alone. 99% of incoming freshmen are going to be new, and they're all going to be feeling the same way you are. Just be yourself, and make sure to attend your floor meeting and all your college's programs, and you should get along fine. Now, for some people, the thought of eating by yourself is really scary, so make sure if you hear people talking about going to lunch or dinner, to just join in with them. And if anything, if you're sitting by yourself, have fun with it. Pretend your hand is a dolphin, or pretend your spoon happens to be an airplane. That'll totally attract the attention of your peers. Otherwise, just go up to a table and ask if a seat is taken. If they do say yes, be like, can I pull up another chair? It's really not that hard. College textbooks are so expensive. Okay, yes, college textbooks are just stupidly expensive, but there's so many ways to get around it that people don't even try. Never, ever, 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 ever buy your books from the college bookstore. Ever, ever, ever. The college bookstore enjoys charging an absorbent amount of money over top of the price of the books to get a profit. Make sure to buy your books off of Amazon.com or Half.com. I use both of those, and generally I save about 200 bucks per semester. I'm not kidding. Another good method, though slightly risky, is to just go into all of your classes without any books, because a lot of the time, teachers will be like, oh, we're not even going to use the book, you shouldn't have bought it. Which is really annoying, because they should have emailed you first. But if they didn't, hey, you'd be like, cool, I just saved myself 200 bucks. However, if you are using the book, just use the excuse oh, it's in the mail, and try and make friends with someone in class, you can use their book, or if anything, just buy the book off of Half.com or Amazon that first day you find out you do need the book. If you're not good at emergency catch-up, then don't ever do that. I miss my friend. Since you're an incoming freshman, you're going to feel a little homesick, so do make sure you call home and or your hometown friends often just to catch up with them. The internet is amazing, so you could even Skype them, video chat, face to face. I don't know what to major in. Well, it is only a first year of college, so you do still have some time. Just make sure to take some courses that you may want to experiment with or dabble in that you may like. You shouldn't be looking for a career just to make money, but something that you enjoy that you'll actually like doing. And just some general advice, calm down, be optimistic, and enjoy yourself. I mean, this is college, or university, if you're British. Just go have fun and stop being such a worrywart. So did this help you? And if you're an upperclassman, could you do the honor of sharing some of your own wisdom with people that I didn't happen to share via a comment or video response? I would greatly appreciate it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. It feels really good to be back. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long, but like I said, I've been incredibly busy training to be an RA and stuff all this month. And for those of you not following any of my other social networks, I'm recording my album this month. So, woohoo! See ya! Nave Regnide